Hundreds of children in seven schools have been infected with a fake substance by bogus health fraudsters purporting to be carrying out hepatitis B vaccine. The police have arrested a suspected quack nurse who is accused of administering a fake vaccine to both pupils and students in the seven schools in various parts of the country. <laughs> Hepatitis B is a serious liver infection caused by hepatitis B virus. Having chronic hepatitis B increases one's risk of developing liver failure, cancer, a condition that permanently scars the liver. Preliminary police findings indicate that a suspected quack nurse was reusing a syringe to administer the fake substance to the children. The Kampala Metropolitan Police spokesperson Patrick Onyango say the police tracked down the suspect. hepatitis B. Hanifa Nakaiwa alias Anwita Mazire, who reportedly claimed to be providing cheap school-to-school -school medical services to both primary and secondary children. However, the affected schools have not been named due to the sensitivity of the matter. Nakaiwa visited schools with a population between 800 and 1,500 students and was reportedly charging 1,000 shillings per child for the fake vaccine, according to the police. <laughs> This means that in a school with a population of 1,000 pupils, the suspect was walking away with 1 million shillings. Ordinarily, a complete dose of a vaccine in private clinics costs between 60,000 shillings and 120,000 shillings. According to Onyango, Nakaiwa was arrested following a tip-off from the vigilant nurse in one of the schools. She is being questioned by the criminal investigations detectives. Samples of the vaccine that was being administered have been submitted to the government analytical laboratory for analysis. <laughs> The charges against Nakaiwa will depend on the findings. According to Nyango, Nakaiwa claimed she was merely injecting the children with water. She reportedly told police that she tried but failed to complete a nursing assistant course. <laughs> In 2014, the Uganda Nursing and Midwives Council recommended the phasing out of nursing assistance due to the big number of unemployed qualified nurses in the country. Nursing assistants largely train on the job and do such work as sorting out patients at reception areas or provide helping hands at healthy facilities. Onyango said Nakaiwa was in possession of forged letters and identity cards from the health ministry, introducing her as a medical worker authorized to vaccine school-going children for hepatitis B and to carry out cervical cancer screening. <laughs> Nakaiwa was arrested on Monday last week and was first detained in Boyogedere before being transferred to Kira Division Police Station, where she is being held on charges of impersonation and forgery. The Health Ministry's Senior Public Relations Officer, Emmanuel Ainibiona, applauded the police action. <laughs> So, Omontiena, Vanga, Zoku Gema, Vanga, Sava Saint, 
Oyabera mufere ate mwangu woku tutegeza. The Uganda Population Best HIV Impact Assessment 2016 survey indicates that chronic hepatitis B infection prevalence varies across the country with the highest rates in the northern region with 4.6%, in the mid-north 4.4%, in the northeast and 3.8% in West Nile. Globally, hepatitis is killing nearly 1.4 million people annually, while nearly 300 million people live with it. As part of measures to deal with the problem, the government introduced hepatitis B vaccine for all children about 10 years ago, according to Diana Atwina, the Health Ministry's permanent secretary. The vaccine was also introduced to adults as well, and they were vaccinated once they tested negative. However, the vaccination exercise is being done in a first manner due to financial challenges that cannot allow the rollout in all the districts. The screening of blood for transfusion has been strengthened to minimize transmission and strict protocols have been put in place against reusable syringes and needles.